I'm Rob from B&H, and I'm here with Dave Roberts of Motu. Dave's going to tell us a little bit about Motu's new lineup of AVB Thunderbolt audio interfaces and the AVB switch. We've got the 1248 right in front of us, and thanks for coming in, Dave. I really appreciate it. Rob, thank you very much for having me today. Uh, we're extremely excited to show off the, our new product range. We have three new interfaces and the AVB switch. Uh, the interfaces are the 1248, mm -hmm. the 8M, and the 16A, and they mm -hmm. are shipping now. We've got the 1248 here. Why don't we start with the basics and talk about the inputs and outputs on these boxes, starting with the 1248. That makes perfect sense. Uh, when we talk about an audio interface, we're talking about inputs and outputs. So the 1248 has four microphone preamplifiers. Mm -hmm eight channels of balanced line level uh, input, mm -hmm. 12 channels of balanced line level output. It's got two high Z guitar inputs on the front mm -hmm. panel, two independent headphone jacks, and for digital connection, it's got SPDIF and two sets of optical jacks. So that's 32 channels of input and 34 channels of output all independent and simultaneously available. Now that's the 1248. If we look at the 8M, for example, mm -hmm. the 8M has eight channels of analog in, eight channels of analog out, and 16 channels of optical. And then just to wrap it up with the 16A, that's all about analog connections, 16 channels of line level analog in and out, and another 16 channels of optical. So you choose the interface based on what you need for inputs and outputs. Right. Now, and for example, also, they all offer, or at least the uh, 1248 and the 8 them offer phantom power independently uh, switchable, right? Yeah, that's a, a hallmark of Motu. When we put microphone preamplifiers on the interface, we give you a separate phantom power switch for each of those preamplifiers. Um, but I really want to talk about the audio quality here. Uh, top of the line components, both on the converter chips and mm -hmm. also on the analog circuitry, we are getting the absolute best of the best in terms of specifications. 123 dB of dynamic range, 63 dB of microphone preamplifier gain. Mm -hmm. uh, these interfaces sound just spectacular. They're very high quality sonics. And also on the 8M, if I'm not mistaken, there is a limiter that's actually on, uh, on the inputs, on the mic microphone inputs, before the digital audio converter. Is that correct? That's correct. We have processing inside the interface. We'll get to that in a moment. But with the 8M, we have pre-converter limiters. Right. Uh, and that means that uh, you can plug your microphone in, and before that microphone signal is converted into digital information, if there's some sort of peak, if your drummer hits the drum uh, too hard, or if the singer yells into the right. microphone, the limiter is going to catch that, and you're not going to get that digital clipping or distortion. Excellent. Now you touched on just a second there, uh, just a second ago, about some of the DSP functions that are inside these boxes. Let's talk about some of the routing and the mixing and the effects that are inside these bad boys. Well, that's the next step. Once you know what the input and output connections are, then you look inside the box, and what these devices have are digital mixers. Right. So we have routing, we have mixing, and we have effects processing. So we're talking about EQs different types of filters, different types of compressors, mm -hmm. gates, reverb circuits. So this is a fully functional digital mixer inside the interface. The EQ and compression, they can be routed to the computer so you can record with them or they can just be in the monitor as well, right? You have total flexibility in terms of how you route signals inside the interface. And this control of the, of the mixer is done through a web app. All right, so uh, we can use uh, uh, an Android device, uh, an iOS device, mm -hmm. Linux, uh, Macintosh, Windows, anything that will run a web browser will run the Motu AVB web app. And that web app gives you complete control over the interface, including all of that routing flexibility. Some great real world applications for that. So I can be at front of house while the interface is on stage with the band, and I can be getting, you know, I can make adjustments to the mix from the audience's perspective rather than being on stage. Also for monitoring situations, it's kind of cool because each person can control their own monitor mix with an iPad, is that correct? That's correct. You have uh, uh, the option to use uh, wireless devices for control of the mix, and you can have multiple control points. So if the front of house mixer wants to mix on an iPad and uh, different musicians on stage want access to their monitor mixes, that's a very easy thing to do. Super convenient. Let's talk about another major component in the system, which is the A 
AVB networking capabilities, AVB being um, audio video bridge. Tell us a little bit about that and how the switch comes into play there. Well, this is the really exciting part of the technology. AVB is an industry standard right. audio video bridge. Now, I can connect two interfaces together with a simple Ethernet cable. Sure. But if I want to connect a third, a fourth, a fifth interface, if I want to continue to expand, that's where the AVB switch right. comes in. And again, this is an industry standard that Motu is using. It's not a proprietary thing. Not, not a proprietary, right. but that means that other companies that make uh, products that, that use this AVB standard can be part of our system. Excellent. And the, the uh, AVB switch can be used to connect multiple interfaces together. It can also be used as a repeater. So we can run up to 100 meters of cable between switches, which means we can have these interfaces far apart from each other. We can have remote distributed systems. It's a scalable system. We can have multiple computers connected up. So I can be recording on multiple computers. I can have one computer that's playing back, another computer that's recording, another computer that's running virtual instruments, and they're all part of this overall network. Wow. And that's the magic of the AVB system. That and the Thunderbolt interface also gives us extremely low latencies, right? That's correct. We can connect to the computer through USB or Thunderbolt, mm -hmm. but Thunderbolt is taking uh, advantage of that amazing bandwidth. We can do 256 channels of input and output to the computer through the Thunderbolt connection, over 500 channels of audio th throughout the, the network system. So we really are taking advantage of the latest technologies available for the, uh, the Numo2 AVB system. Very impressive stuff, awesome. Dave, thanks so much for coming in and tell us a little bit about the AVB audio interfaces from Mo2 as well as the AVB switch. Thank you very much. Rob, thanks for having us. Pleasure, man, thanks. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.